Hey everyone, I'm Brad and I'm one of the founders of RoboFlow. Uh, if you're not familiar, RoboFlow is a ETL tool for computer vision, uh, which means that we eliminate all of the boilerplate code that you previously had to reinvent to train a computer vision model. And we let you focus on just the things that are specific to your application. So we handle all the things like converting annotation formats or setting up an image processing pipeline um, that were previously just like useless Python one-off scripts that you had to write. Um, we let you focus just on the things that you care about and the high value things that uh, need your unique expertise. Um, and I'm here to show you an extension of our platform that we're about to launch called RoboFlow Train. Um, so as a bit of background, uh, the way that you would previously train using RoboFlow is to use either our model library or a model that you create yourself uh, to, to train a machine learning model that runs predictions on your custom data set for your custom problem. So as an example, here's uh, our YOLO v5 uh, model notebook page. Um, we have a CoLab notebook, we have a tutorial. Um, if you open up the CoLab notebook, you can scroll through. Um, and one of the things that our users have told us is that they enjoy using our models uh, from the model library, but what they find themselves doing is just coming in here and hitting enter, 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 uh, getting to the end, uh, waiting for their, their notebook to train, trying to keep their CoLab notebook alive uh, so it doesn't time out. And then they get this weights file uh, and then they don't really know where to go from there. Um, deployment is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, you have to spin up your own servers with GPUs, or um, you, know, you have to figure out what you're gonna do with this weights file so that you can actually run your app in production. Uh, and at RoboFlow, our job is to make this as easy as possible. Um, so I'm here to share a new product that we're about to launch called RoboFlow Train uh, that picks up where the rest of the product leaves off uh, and lets you train a model in one click and then get an API back that you can just integrate directly with your application. So without further ado, let's uh, check it out. So I've got a sample data set that I've created here with chess pieces. Uh, it's a tiny toy data set, just 12 images. I've added some augmentations to give us a little bit more, um, but in reality, your data set would probably be much bigger than this. Um, this could be anything from microscope cell images to something that came out of a telescope to something you took uh, on a mobile phone maybe a security camera, sky's the limit. Um, we even have people working with thermal imagery uh, and stuff from drones. Um, and so the way that the product works is you set your data settings uh, and you click generate. We will uh, fire up a whole bunch of servers that will go through and do the image munging and, and create the versions of these. Uh, and then uh, it's ready to export. And so traditionally you would select where you wanted to train. Um, so if, this, if we were gonna train on YOLO v5, I would select that as the format. I'd hit continue uh, and RoboFlow would go ahead and zip up those files and give me a, a zip file of that that I could feed directly into my model or um, I could get a link um, and it would tell me uh, what line of code to paste into my Jupyter notebook or my terminal or um, you know just whatever script I wanna train and we would host your data set in the cloud for you so that you can access it from your CoLab notebook or from your cloud servers or whatnot. Um, but today, we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to use this new feature that we have called RoboFlow Train. And RoboFlow Train is an auto ML tool. It's a one-click train. Uh, you click the button, you get back an API. Uh, it can't be any simpler than that. It's a, a super uh, state-of-the-art model. Um, you'll get great results and, and great predictions from it. Um, and we would love to have you try it out. So, it, so I'm going to click that button. Uh, RoboFlow Train is billed uh, in credits so that it's easy to understand. One training costs one credit, um, and that's all there is to it. Uh, contact us to, to buy your credits, and, and that's how you get going. So I hit go, um, and my model is up and running. So this is spinning up a GPU instance in the cloud, uploading my data set to it, and then running basically the equivalent of one of our open source models uh, with some extra uh, tweaks that we have included uh, to boost the performance just a little bit further. Um, we, we've been able to optimize it just a little bit over, over the public stuff that we have out there. Um, and so when it's done training, it'll send me an email. It can take up to 24 hours, depending on the size of the data set. Oftentimes it takes much, much less than that because we do something called early stopping. So if the model reaches a uh, local maxima uh, where it can't improve itself any further, uh, we'll stop at that point and we'll just uh, call it good and return back your API. Um, but we don't wanna wait for this model to train. Um, like I said, it would send us an email when it's done but in uh, the interest of time for the YouTube video, I've actually generated an identical data set and trained it already um, so we can see the results. So now you can see that that uh, training in progress has switched to training finished and we've got our results. 
And then we've got some ways to use our model. So let's check out the results first. This is like the nitty gritty output of the model. Um, you can check it out if you want, or you can ignore it and just focus on this mean average precision number, which we have some content about to explain. In general, the higher the better. Um, so this got 83.5%. That's excellent results, even on such a tiny data set. Probably means it was overfitting a little bit, might not generalize that well. I would definitely not recommend training on only 12 images, um, but you actually don't need that many. Um, a few hundred is, is probably good for, for most problems, uh, so long as you have a representative data set uh, representing a lot of the, the different edge cases. Uh, we usually recommend that you just create a, a, a simple model first, see how it works, see if it's tractable, and then you can iterate on it and improve it over time. So in addition to the results, here I've got the uh, line of code that I need to run this. So this is a curl command. Um, you base64 encode your image, and then you post it to your custom URL. Um, this includes my access token, which of course will be revoked by the time this video comes out. Um, but it also references this specific model that I trained. Um, and this is all that I need to do uh, to, to get a prediction on a new image. Um, so if we wanna see what that looks like, um, I actually have it uh, up here. And so I posted a chest image um, and it returns back that this was indeed a white pawn. And that's based on the model that we trained on our data set. We also have a custom sample app. Um, so if I go here, I'm um, gonna you know, refresh this page. This is all the code that you need uh, to train a custom model, uh, or sorry, to build a web app around your custom trained model. So we have all the JavaScript here, it's not that much. Uh, we'll walk through it in just a second. We've got a little bit of CSS and a little bit of HTML, and the result is what we have over here on the right side. Um, so these are some of the options that you can, can set on the uh, inference endpoint. We have a full listing of them at docs.roboflow.com, um, and you can dive into there and get the nitty gritty details. Uh, but for now, uh, let's just look at an image file and run a prediction. So this is an image of a chessboard. Um, that's what this model was trained on. We'll see how it does, even after only being trained on 30 images. So I hit OK. Um, I'm gonna bump this up to five, and I'm gonna show the labels. And then I have two options. I can either visualize the result, which is similar to uh, what we had on that other tab, where it's gonna show me an image with the bounding boxes around it, or I can select JSON, which will give me a computer-readable format so that I can use the information and the predictions within my application however I want. So first, let's visualize the results. Um, this should give me a similar sort of image to what we saw before, and it does. Um, and so the model's not great. It looks like it found the pieces, but it's misidentifying this knight as a pawn. It looks like it's pretty pawn heavy on this. Uh, I think that's probably to be expected because there are a lot of pawn examples and not a lot of examples of the other pieces in those 12 images that I uploaded. Um, it would be interesting to uh, to train on your own custom data set and see what you get, even with a with a minimal amount of training data. Um, in general, though, the more data, the better. So I'll just switch this over to JSON to uh, show you what that looks like. And so this runs prediction again on my custom model, but instead of giving me an image back, it gives me a computer readable representation. So it tells me the confidence level that it has. It found a black bishop that was located at this uh, X Y position. Uh, and it was this size. Um, and so this is the data that you could use to construct that image inside of your UI or to use it in any way that you want. Um, and so yeah, that's that's RoboFlow Train. There's not much more to it. It's uh, one click. Uh, we'll train your model and give you back an API. We're excited to see what everybody builds. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, until next one, goodbye.